Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today y'all, we're gonna talk about fragrances that I cannot wait to wear for spring. So with these fragrances, they're either fragrances that I purchased like at the end of spring last year and didn't really get to wear them or I purchased them recently like within the winter time, specifically to wear in the spring and summer. So these bottles are full, okay? Ain't no dents here, girl. These are fragrances that I am excited to wear. If y'all wanna see a video of the fragrances that I did love last spring, definitely let me know down in the comments. I could definitely make that video for y'all, but we are gonna get into the ones that I'm excited to wear this year. First, let's start off with these two because they're from the same house and it's Rosendo number six and Rosendo number four. So I have talked about Rosendo number six before and I have already worn this and it's beautiful, okay? It's so nice. So on the front of the bottle, it does say Jasmine Sandalwood and Oriental Musk. And that's really what you get in the fragrance. I mean, but it's blended up so good. Like the Jasmine isn't strong and heady, like not for me. And I'm not a heady Jasmine lover anyway. Like I want Jasmine in my fragrance blended in there somewhere. But if it's just forward, front and forward, and eh, not so much. I did blind buy this and I was scared because I didn't know how it was going to come off. But after I had number five, I was like, girl, that man know how to blend some fragrances. So let me, let me go on it. Let me just jump in here first and blind buy it. And I did. And I regret nothing you absolutely have to be a floral lover to love this because it is mostly florals and musk it does have that creaminess from the sandalwood but this is so pretty like this is definitely something i want to wear to something really nice something outdoors um even if you wear this to something inside something like a wedding something elegant and pretty but it's you can dress this up or dress it down so that's what i like about this and i just could see me getting a lot of wear out of it this spring because it smells so good just a pretty floral with a little muskiness a little bit of sweetness not sweet at all but it's just a nice and smooth floral so i do like it definitely get you a sample if you are not sure about it but if you are a floral lover like i just don't see why you wouldn't like this number four nobody talks about number four but here i am to talk about number four i am loving number four and i can't wait to wear it so this is saffron oud and vanilla and that's what you get in saffron oud and vanilla you have to like saffron because the saffron is right there on the top and it's tickling your nose now i will tell y'all this this smells like um if blue heart and oud for greatness and baccarat had a baby that's what it smells like like I said, the saffron is definitely there, definitely prominent. And then the oud is too, but it's a smooth oud. It's not stinky or nothing like that. It's smooth. and But you definitely got to be an oud lover because you're going to get the oud, but the oud isn't like super strong in here. You definitely smell it, but it's a smooth oud, like in oud for greatness. I thought oud for greatness was going to be like barnyard, but it's not at all. So it's got that smooth oud like that. And then it's got vanilla, but it's a light airy vanilla. It's not sweet like number five is. Like number five to me is sweet and i love that fragrance but this is like a smooth airy vanilla how baccarat is this smells nothing like baccarat girl i ain't saying that at all but just how baccarat has that airy vanilla that's how this is now when you first get this spray it and let it sit for a couple of months that's what i did because when i first got it i really liked it but i wasn't getting a lot of the vanilla i was really just getting the saffron and ooh. but i was like oh, okay that's cool i still like it but the more i've let it sit the vanilla is really in there and starting to like really blend with the rest of it so this is nice now i mostly heard men talk about this but Girl, I've been liking this. I'm going to wear this to somewhere. If I'm going doing a, a brunch date with the girls or something like that in the summertime where we're sitting outside on the deck or the patio or something like that, that's where I'm going to wear this to because I just feel like the sillage on this is going to be so good because the sillage on the number five and number six is really nice. So I just feel like it's going to be nice on this. Nobody else is going to have it on. It is absolutely unisex, but girl, <laughs> when I put this on, okay, and do a cute little vanilla routine with it, it's going to be everything. Definitely do not blind buy this unless you know you like Blue Heart, unless you know you like Oofa Greatness. Like, don't blind buy this. Definitely get a sample. So next is Palace of Themes by Argos. Argos has been coming through with the fragrances. I have three of their fragrances, but y'all, this is a nice fruity floral fragrance. It's so thick. Look how dark the juice is, okay? I have already worn this one, so this one isn't like, you know, new to me. I've already worn this, but this is gonna perform better in the spring. It doesn't really cut through the cold for long. Like if through in the cold, you don't get as much longevity as i feel like you would if your skin is hot and warmed up and you just you know free you ain't got on coats and scarves and all of that but i talked about that in the review so anyway this is a nice fruity floral 
you definitely get a good balance of the fruits and the florals. And this, to me, I ain't going to hold y'all. I feel like this is a grown woman fruity floral. This isn't like a little bopper, okay? This is giving grown woman, sophisticated type of fruity floral. And this is a thick fruity floral. So if you're used to fragrances, you know what I mean by a thick fruity floral. It's thick. It's not light and airy and like happy-go-lucky. It's thick. <laughs> it's not thick as in sweet, but the texture of the fruits and florals just gives you a thick feeling you know what i'm saying so you feel like when you spray it on like the projection is nice the sillage is nice both are definitely moderate the longevity goes up and down depending on the weather because i wore it on a cold day and i wore it on a warmer day and it performed better on the warmer day it was warmer but it wasn't quite spring weather but it was definitely warmer than the other day that i wore it so you definitely do smell like the red berries in it and it smells good and it lives throughout the life of the fragrance then you get into the florals you definitely get the rose the peony you get some violet and then down at the base it's got vetiver it's got musk this is definitely like i said a sophisticated fruity floral like this is a hundred silent ways mama i don't know how that make y'all feel but that's kind of what this is giving me if you have palettes of things let me know how you feel about it what you think about it and what do you feel like about what i said is this a hundred silent ways mama let me know so i'm gonna talk about these two together because the notes for both of these fragrances are damn near identical but they do not smell the same so this one is by zherzhoff this is la capitale and this is venom incarnate by stefan amber lucas when you look at the notes you got the strawberry you got the caramel you got the leather you have all of that in there these smell nothing alike really you definitely get some similarities between the two but they do smell different now with la capitale you get the strawberry for sure you get the sweetness from the caramel but the leather is blended in here to where you really don't detect leather. So if you are not a leather fragrance lover, um, still get a sample of this or, you know, try this because the leather is blended in there so smoothly that you really don't get a lot of leather. I, like, I don't. It just smells so good, juicy, and sweet, and I just cannot wait to wear this. Like, this is so, so good. I, like, I don't know what Zherzhoff was thinking by not putting this in a 100 mil. Like, what, what was y'all doing? Because this absolutely needs to be in a 100 mil bottle, and I need a backup already. And I know I'm, I know I'm jumping the gun. Y'all like, how you need a backup already, girl? I don't already sprayed it on me, and I just already know. I just already know. Sometimes, you already know. Now, with Venom Incarnate, you get the notes more separated so you smell the strawberry in here you smell the leather in here the leather isn't like you know new car or nothing like that but it's definitely giving leather and then you get some sweetness from the caramel and the other notes so this is a more separated blend but it's still really really nice this is perfect to transition from winter to spring because the leather kind of gives you that still kind of winter vibe but then the berries and all of that the strawberry gives you that oh we going into spring type of vibe so i got this last year i wore it once and i did enjoy it i did like it and that's why i'm more excited to even um to wear it more this spring because it just really smells good and it's really gonna shine in the spring next is hibiscus mahaja this is a very unique fragrance i didn't know what to think because when people were describing this in the reviews that i was watching like nobody was describing it the same so i was like that's crazy why isn't everybody getting kind of the same thing i mean they would say some of the notes that they were getting were similar but everybody kind of described the fragrance and the vibe of it completely different i'm like okay so what i will say first off top this i don't think this is a safe blind buy like i think you need to get a sample of it and this is a very unique fragrance like i have nothing in my collection that smells like this i have never smelled anything like this and i didn't know what to expect but i'm not mad at it what i get out of it it smells like delina with a little leather a little hibiscus and a little mint i know that sounds completely crazy but it is blended nicely but it's like i said definitely unique so i'm a rose lover so i'm all here for the rose i know what hibiscus like powder smells like because i used to mix it up in my deep conditioners when i was doing natural hair content and i get the i get the hibiscus a lot of people are saying they didn't get the hibiscus but i smell like the hibiscus powder mixed with the rose i don't really get much of the leather but it's there to make it like a little different but what struck me was the mint girl now it doesn't smell minty but when you smell the fragrance it clears your nose out and I was like, oh, okay. This is an extrait de parfum and honey, the oil concentration is there. When I tested this out, it wasn't going nowhere. It was on and it was like, this is what we doing. And I was testing it out with like three other fragrances. I had one right here, one right here, this right here and this right here. And I was doing something in here and just kept moving my arms around. I was probably cleaning up or something. And I, all I could smell was this one. 
all I could smell was this one. This was taking over three other fragrances. I was like, ooh, I like that. But yeah, this is definitely different and I cannot wait to wear it because it really smelled good on my skin. And it's something different. Like this is something I wanna wear when I wanna smell different. I don't wanna smell like nobody else and I want everybody to smell me. So if you are a frag girl that is looking for something different, something unique, you love rose, but you need something different, like a different type of rose, Try this one out. Get a sample of it. Don't blind buy it. Definitely get a sample of it and see how you like it. Like I said, I'm a rose lover, so I have so many different kind of roses. So to have a different one, something unique, something I never smell, I've never had anything with me any either. Like, I'm hyped about this one. Another one that I'm hyped about that nobody talks about is Southern Bloom. Now, I don't think this is for everybody because it's so powdery and soft and mmm it smells so good to me now this one i feel like it does slightly lean on the mature side you might want to get a sample of it if you like powdery fragrances then you might like this one because this one is very powdery to me it has that purple color from the baronia flower and it smells like a soft powdery type of flower with other flowers mixed in it's not super sweet it's kind of airy like and ethereal a little bit and i'm like okay girl it's definitely different in my collection i don't really have a lot of powdery fragrances that smell like this powdery other than Pool J by Narciso Rodriguez. If you like that type of fragrance, I feel like you might like this one too because this is powdery like that. I gave it a cute test but haven't given it a full wear outside out and about in these streets but I'm definitely going to this spring. So definitely give this a try if you are a powdery lover get you a sample. Next is the Viral Sensation Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. Y'all have done heard about this 72 million times so I'm not gonna go too much into it because it ain't nothing you ain't heard before but it smelled good girl i thought it had some suede or something in it but i don't know it's got that muskiness that narciso rodriguez does so well but it's got a fruitiness it's got a floralness it's got a little bit of everything in here oh my gosh it smells so good to me and when i wore it y'all it i tested it out i said i wore it i didn't wear it but i tested it out and I was like, ooh, this smells so good on my skin. I cannot wait to wear this. Like, I cannot wait to wear this. If y'all have this and y'all love it, let me know. Because there's so many people that have this. And I mean, they got big collections, big collections. And when they were showing this, like, girl, they had dents down to here. They was like, it was something about this. They was like, I wasn't sure about it at first. But, you know, I started wearing it. And then they was hooked. They was obsessed. I was like, ooh, I need it. I got to have it. You know what I'm saying? My girl, um, Tresses of Alexis, was like, girl, go on and get it. I got it. You need it. And when she... When she confirmed, <laughs> I went ahead and got it. This is definitely giving me daytime brunch, lunch, all of that. I feel like you can still wear this on a date, but it's not like a sexy date night. This is like a casual, just fun type of flirty type of date night. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to wear this for in the spring, something like that. Um, this is, like I said, fun and flirty. So I don't see me wearing this like when I want to feel super elegant and super classy or anything like that. You know, this is just a really good, everyday type of fragrance you can wear this to work you can really wear this anywhere and like i said you can transition it from day to night so i like this and i can't wait to wear it last is ooh jean intense by fragrance dubois i did wear this last year and i really do like it it's really a nice thick type of floral fragrance and i feel like it's really like kind of a classy fragrance you can wear this anytime though you can dress this up dress it down you don't really have to be going to anywhere important with this but it's a nice thick yellow floral creamy coconut vanilla type of vibe with this but it's definitely giving frangipani okay it's giving for some creamy sweet frangipani <laughs> and that's what i get out of it so I, I don't know if this is a safe blind buy for people i feel like this is one of my florals that leans a little bit on the mature side not like granny or nothing like that but i, I you know i don't just don't see a teeny bopper wearing this but everybody wears what they want you know when you want where you want no shade on that wear whatever but i don't know this just gives me a, like a more mature sophisticated Floor, yellow floral type of fragrance and honey for the price <laughs> you can't spray a lot but that's not gonna stop me okay because i'm gonna go ahead and spray it but yeah so i do like this as a creamy um yellow floral sweet fragrance and i'm gonna wear it more this summer and give y'all more details on how it's been making me feel this is something i would want to wear to church something i would want to wear to a outdoor wedding um i think the projection and sillage on this is like moderate to not to even better i don't feel like this is a groundbreaking fragrance but i feel like this is just a nice yellow floral sweet creamy fragrance so i did enjoy it last year and i'm ready to enjoy it more this year
So those are the spring fragrances in my collection that I cannot wait to wear. And as I wear them, I'll let y'all know where I wore them, if I got any comments. And, you know, I'll give y'all the tea like I always do, okay? What are some fragrances that you cannot wait to wear this spring? Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.